Hey guys, just a quick disclaimer before I start this video. This video is a parody, so it is not meant to be taken seriously. I am in no way in this video trying to say that anybody's planning style is bad or any type of planner is bad or anything like that. I am not saying that at all. And I promise you, I am not putting anything in here that I am not prone to myself or that I haven't done myself. This video is really meant to be taken uh, lightheartedly and not read into a lot. This is just meant to be pure entertainment. Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Perfectionism Prints. And I know I just filmed um, a planner flip video like last week, but um, I switched planners. So I'm going to do another uh, planner flip today and also talk to you about my 2021 uh, planner system. So first of all, um, this is my main planner. Uh, so this is an A5. Uh, it's a Moterm. So let's get started with the flip. So first of all, you can see I have like this Ollie clip here, like it's not holding on to anything um, on either side. But I saw somebody on Instagram do it, so I had to too. Um, and then on the inside here, I have like a couple of pictures because I'm trying to be artsy and I have this minimalist, like transparent calendar card. And it's really cool. I mean, I can't like read it, but doesn't that just look really chic sitting there? Now I'm gonna go into the actual flip. So I'm really big into motivational dashboards and just really wanna be inspired when I open my planner. So first of all, I have this page, like my name, sometimes I forget it. Um, my compass section, which is like where I put all of my goals and routines and stuff so first like I have this picture of my kids and then I have um oh well that's all that I have in my compass section right now but you know it's important to uh raise your kids so that just reminds me of that and then I have my calendar section so what I did was I printed out all the dashboards that I liked and that's what you see here these are from plan with B so honestly, I meant to put like my monthly and my weekly planner in this section, but um, like her dashboards were just so great that I actually don't have room for all that stuff. I just think these are so beautiful and I, I just couldn't choose. Um, I really like to have like motivational stuff in here. This dashboard um, I made because like I've seen a lot of things that say boss babe on them, but I think the word babe is kind of sexist. So I uh, made this myself. Um, I don't like know who this is, but she looks like she really has her stuff together. And um, so I replaced the word babe with female, which I just think is um, much less sexist. And um, I added hashtag boobs because she has boobs. And I, I think like that encompasses the femaleness um, a little bit better than Boss Babe, which is just kind of, I don't know, kind of childish and like sexist. And then I have some more dashboards from Plan with B. Yeah, and then I have some Planner Press ones. I really like that one. Like you can see why I chose to put these dashboards in here instead of my actual calendar because, I mean, you can get a calendar anywhere, but it's just really important to have inspiration and like lots and lots of pretty things to look at. 2021 resolutions. Like I haven't actually filled that out yet because I was too busy printing and setting up my dashboards, but I'll probably get to it. Let's go to my wellness section. So again, I don't have actual wellness inserts in here. But so much of wellness is just like believing good things and being positive, being motivated. So I have some more dashboards here, like this one uh, woman. I made this, I mean, 
I don't know her or anything, but she looks like she's being very thoughtful about her life and I just really liked that. It really resonated with me. So um, I really wanted to be able to look at her staring off into the scenery or, or backdrop or, you know, whatever. Um, I made this one too, Carpe Diem, uh, that's Latin. Like the fact that I have these Latin words on here, it makes me feel um, smarter. And so that's why I have them here. And you can see there's this woman here, like jumping up into the air. And um, I, when I look at this, um, my soul just wants to jump up in the air and say Carpe DM. I made this too. I really like coffee. No, you guys, like, I really like coffee a lot. I mean, look at this picture of coffee that I put here. I mean, this is not my cup of coffee. Um, it's not the cup of coffee of anybody that I know. But look how there's this design here. I mean, that just really speaks to me. And it reminds me that I really like coffee, in case I forget. So anyway, that was my planner flip for my main planner. And I just, I just love everything that I have in there. You know, I love all of the dashboards. It's okay that I can't fit, you know, all of the nitty gritty details of my life and everything because I just look at the dashboards and, and feel very inspired. Okay. Now I want to show you how I store my main planner because it's just really nice. It's made of leather and I don't want anything to happen to it because I spent a lot of money on it. And so I got this amazing planner pouch that's crocheted and it's just really beautiful. And so um, I put the planner in the pouch to make sure that it stays protected. But like, as you can see, it kind of sticks out here and I really want this part protected too. And so, I have this laptop sleeve and I could just put it in there. So that's what I do next. It takes kind of a little bit to get it zipped, but it's really well protected now. And then um, like this doesn't zip all the way, so I definitely wouldn't want to just carry this around because then I could slip and the planner might fall out and it might come out of its pouch and stuff. So then I put it in this tote bag and this is just my planner tote bag. Like this is not my regular purse or anything. I would never put my planner in my regular purse because something might spill on it. Look how well protected it is in there, you guys. Now this does make it a little bit more difficult to actually access my planner if I would need to write anything in it. But since I don't have any actual pages to write on in my planner, because it's mostly just dashboards, um, it's really not that big of a deal that I can't get it out easily. Okay guys, next I'm gonna show you my uh, tracking planner. And that's what this is. So for January, um, I wanted to just make sure that I was being really realistic and not overloading myself. So I'm only choosing one habit to actually track for January. And the habit is to check off my habit tracker. I think that's just an easy way to ease in. And I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to perform and it's just really rewarding to check things off. And so I get a check mark here every time that I check off my habit tracker. So. Let's just go ahead and um, fill this in for today. Oh wait, it's not checked off. Okay, so I guess I can't check it off because I only get to check it off if I've actually made a check mark. Okay, so since my main planner is just dashboards and I can't really fit anything else in there, um, I do have a few planners that I'm using this year. So I just wanted to go through and show you, you know, just the few planners that I'm going to be using for 2021. I already showed you my main planner. Doesn't the Ollie clip just look amazing? Right there, holding nothing. And I have my um, habit tracking planner right here. 
Then I have a Hobonichi Techo because it's really uh, trendy and cool and um, I didn't want to miss out on that. Um, that was the A5 Techo and then um, I also just had to have the A6 Hobonichi Techo um, in the daily because it was just really cute and I also wanted the weekly one because like, <laughs> you guys look how small this is. So I'm probably going to use this for like tracking something. Oh, and then I also have a Hobonichi Weeks because it is just so portable and well, I have the Mega Weeks actually and it has all of these blank pages in the back and I'm sure I'll never actually use them, but it's just really nice to know that they're there. That gives me a lot of comfort. And then um, I have my Moxie Life um, goal planners, which are just really great. And this is my blush pink Jillio planner that I justified buying because I said I'd use it to record my workouts. I definitely have planned my workouts out. I just haven't happened to have actually finished any of them. Um, and then I have this um, A5 Codex from Vanderspeck, which um, I don't necessarily have like a huge use for right now, but I paid a lot of money for this. And so if I don't use it, I'm going to feel really guilty. So I will definitely find a way to use it. I might track my dog's diet in here. I think that might be a really good use for this planner. Um, and then next I have my golden coil, which um, I spent a ton of time like stamping dates in and stuff. I'll probably use it for like days when I need to wash my hair, maybe tracking that. Well, this is my A6 rings, and this is my A6 notebook size. This is my pocket size rings. Then this is passport size. So I'll probably um, put my passport in here, even though we can't really travel anywhere right now, but um, it's purple. So then I have a B6 Stology, which I mainly got because uh, everyone else had one and I wanted an excuse to buy a B6 Jillio. So there's that. And then um, I have my A5. This is by Mossery. Crap, where did my A3.2 size go? Next is my Hemlock and Oak planner, which I'm going to use as my calendar since my calendar won't actually fit in my main planner. Then I have my passion planner, which I plan to use to track like moon cycles and weather events. And then I have the, um, the North Folk planner, and I'm gonna use this to document uh, when my kids take naps. And then I have my Erin Condren, which I'm mainly going to use to put stickers in because I've invested thousands of dollars in sticker kits and really don't want those to go to waste. This is um, an Erin Condren monthly planner. Bought it to be a budget planner. I'm not gonna use it as a budget planner because I actually have been doing my budget successfully on my phone for the last four years. So I'm mainly going to use this for aspirational budgeting. Like I'm going to write down what I wish that I was making and then the things that I wish I was buying because, um, because, because. And this planner I'm going to use for overflow. Um, I'm not really sure with all the other planners what will be overflowing, but if there's any overflow, this planner is going to take care of the overflow. Next, I'm going to show you my essential pens that I'm going to use every day. Um, and, you know, they come in this case here, which is, might seem big, but it's pretty thin and um, it won't fit in my planner bag, but I have like another bag just for my pens because you can't be without your pens. 
And I mean, these are just all essential to me. I can't imagine being without any of these. Some of them may seem redundant because for instance, Magenta Paper Mate Flare and the Magenta Sharpie, which are both felt tipped magenta pens. But as you can see, they have a very different aesthetic. And I think it's just really important to give yourself options because we have them. So why not buy every pen, even if it's the same color as six that you already own? I mean, that's our freedom. So here's another magenta felt tipped marker. And again, I think it's just really important to have multiples because what if one were to run out and that's the color that you're writing in and then you had to use like another color that wouldn't match. Nobody needs that kind of stress in their life. So I just wanted to give you a little update in the course of filming this video. I decided to switch planner sizes again. So instead of making my New Year's resolutions and like planning out my actual schedule, I'm going to spend the next five hours printing out a six inserts to fit in this planner. And by the time I'm done with that, who knows, I may have decided to switch planners again. Isn't it just great? So some of you might be wondering how it is that I keep up with so many planners. And the answer is that I quit my full-time job because it was interfering with planning too much. And I mostly cut out family activities because they were usually in the middle of the day and that's when I was trying to organize my planners and do some memory keeping and like the actual memories were getting in the way. So I cut a lot of that stuff out just to simplify. And I think that that is just going to work out really well for me. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you've enjoyed my planner parody video. I do also want to give a shout out to Berlin from Plan With B. She graciously allowed me to use her dashboards in this video because I think that they are amazing. She has put out so many things for free and you can hop on over to her website planwithb.com to check out all of her freebies and she even has digital freebies now. Um, like I'm obsessed with this one for my watch. It says be intentional. I just really appreciate and respect all of the creators in our planner community. And I have nothing but good things to say about them. So please don't take the inclusion of any product in this video as me saying that I uh, think there's something wrong with it or that it's silly. Uh, I don't think that at all.